God, he couldn't resist. They got you. Oh. <laughs> Look at all those gas pumps we don't ever need to use. <laughs> Always got the milk in hand. Literally the best things I've ever had. All right, we're doing an official Bucky's chocolate chip cookie review. Where are you going to find, babe? Some absolute fire. Look at this fire. <laughs> Chucking her about 20 mile an hour on a house shot. Excellent. Hasn't missed yet. <laughs> I'm running a little late getting to the center, but I'm going to assume that rolling well because he has not texted me which is normally how it goes is if I don't get a text from him he's normally rolling well if I get a text no one really wants to know what he says so let's see how it's going All right, I just arrived my glad, prediction came true glad for you to join us finally. Nate shot 160 and he no, shot 190 no. 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 Oh. No. Oh. 279 290 oh sick so I can leave mm -hmm. you don't need me here all right
and didn't use a spare ball today. I shot 8-13 for three, and I was behind by like 10 or 15. Great, what ball did you throw? X3 for the 8-13. For the and then we were like fishing around a little bit, shot 190 game four, jumped to the low end, went back to the X3, and shot 250. Then the next game, got into a ghost lock, shot 290. And then we jumped here, and I grinded out 220. And my partner's low game was 256. What'd you throw? Classic? Never. Uh, I threw a Hustle USA the first four games, and then I threw Nitro the last three games, and that was it. I shot like maybe seven or eight seven pins and uh, a couple templates, and that was it. Nice. My second ten once. Yeah. All right. AJ Rice on the spot. The worst lefty in the building? The worst lefty in the building. Come What'd you throw? Day. I started off with a hype solid. The first three had 770, and then I switched short, short and then switched to a, uh, I can remember Daddy. Oh yeah, and Daddy. Then went 50, 50, 350, something. It was, it was great. Basically, I great. decided to room with the Good Bowlers this weekend, and yes. I get a steak now. Get a fillet. I get a fillet. Get a fillet. Ryan gets 711, according to Martel. <laughs> They get what? They get a two round buy? Double, yeah, two round buy. Okay, so they get a two round buy. That's the, that's the five breaker bracket. That's the five breaker, b b breaker, b breaker bracket. I can't talk. Let's see your corner. I was under 256. Go see your What I have? Oh. 185 over. I'm still seven hits behind Martel. <laughs> Literally throw it Seven a game. Seven a game. <laughs>
in St. Louis for the night. Um, we got done earlier today. Martel flies out early in the morning. So 214, 214 pin lead with the five games and um, we kind of struggled compared to what we bowled the first day. Um, I think we still ended up going 100, uh, 400 over for the five games of ca the cashers round. And um, we held on to the lead by 160 pins. Um, we got a two round buy, so that was good. Time to eat, refresh, you know, stick with the same game plan. The match that we had against um, Packy and Anthony Lavery Spar was uh, pretty intense. Um, I mean, of game one, it came down to the 10th frame. I threw all three in the 10th throw to force Packy to throw all three to tie. He did that and went into a one ball roll off. And I was, you know, we went shot for shot. So it was a one ball roll off, high count wins. Um, I threw four strikes, so it was back and forth. So I threw one, he threw one, I threw one, he threw one. Um, I got the fourth one and he got nine. I was winning game one. And then, um, what, what did you see games like two through four, like through so, your eyes? So realistically, right. I think obviously we realized we chose to start on the wrong lane for this yeah. match. Um, your ball reaction was pretty good on both lanes. I pretty much came down to whatever I decided. Yeah. Um, I thought the right lane was going to hold up better. Yeah. Uh, they were a little tighter on that lane for me, and I definitely didn't see it the right way. Yeah. I probably I don't think I missed in two games on the left lane, which made me feel like my decision sucked. <laughs> um, but no, I think we got a little tricked. Uh, the second game we bowled, we still bowled to 40. Um, yeah, they just had more. They bowled 260. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it was a really good game. The second game we bowled good on the lane that ended up being the good lane. Yeah. Uh, we got back to the harder lane and a uh, combination of a couple bad shots, a bad ball change for you that resulted in a 7 10. Um, we just didn't see it right on that lane. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, didn't make it, I, I made two good shots that game, and we just fell behind real fast. They were on the good lane, they won. Yeah. Uh, we got back to the good lane, we threw a front 10 to win. Yeah, I mean, that was um, crazy. So that was a sick game right there, kept yeah. us in the match. Yeah. Um, but that, that fifth game could not have started anywhere. 7 yeah. 10 Greek Church. Yeah. Um, they started with 270 pace, and like the, you know, the sale kind of fell from there. Yeah. Um, we just fell behind pretty fast that game, but I mean, the match was It was a great sick. match. Yeah, yeah. Great match. A lot of good shots. Yeah. Um, they gave us plenty of ample opportunity to get back into it, and that we did. With, you know, with that fourth game, they gave us, you know, the one tap that just let us kind of be like, all right, you know, this is a good lane, just, just kind of lace it. Yeah. You know, there was no pressure either on either of us in that, yeah. in that game, and just kind of bold and resulted in the front end. Yeah. Um, yeah, looking back, I should have chose the lane that I knew had all the hook. Yeah. Like, I, I, I just. But so it, it, yeah, it happens. You didn't even strike on that lane in practice. Right, not once. And yeah. I was so reliant on trying to stay straighter because, I mean, I moved 460 over yesterday, not moving my eyes right of like 13. Right. Um, and then following transition a day with like the lefties, there's yeah, more lefties. Yeah, yesterday we followed zero lefties the entire block. Somehow it worked out in our favor, obviously. Yeah. Um, today we followed Cam all five games, which. I didn't think was going to be that drastic, but yeah. they continually migrated right, and their rev rates are much higher than mine is, and yeah. it forced me into the right gutter really fast. Right, and then hitting that area that in the first two matches there were a total of five lefties, mm -hmm. and they blew that pair up on me. And I should have chose the lane that I knew was going to hook, and just you know, obviously yeah. I, I'm a lefty that likes to be in the right gutter, which is weird. I should <laughs> I should have just trusted what I'm good at going around it, but. Yeah. My ball went through the pins so much better from straight this whole weekend. So I really tried to to stay straight on a lane that was tighter, and that lane absolutely blew up in my face. Yeah. So I mean, straight was the play. Like yeah, we we yeah. ran and went over with straight. Like every time I get to play straight, I bowl well. Oh yeah, I definitely think I need to work on like on being able to amp up on it and keep it in front of me, and and tumble it at doing that because obviously Packy had both lanes pretty similar, but yeah, he just slammed the holes a little bit harder on the one lane, but his hand was so far behind it that yeah, it's very hard for his ball to go high. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely think that if I can make like a little bit of a. a speed adjustment get my hand through it better and get firm i would have had the issues that i had but live, sure. live and learn you know and yeah it sucked that it happened the way it did but we yeah. still took them to five games yeah you know? stuck so, in the five anything could have happened and oh, absolutely. anything did so yeah but i mean it was pretty sick to go 840 over oh my God, it was <laughs> on, on saturday yeah that was freaking crazy yeah. and we had a chance at 900 like so it was a lot of fun. Um, 
you know, we can't wait to do it again. Uh, oh, you know, we'll shot, be back next year. It's yeah. a great tournament. Yeah. Um, shout out to Kevin and the staff. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin and them did a great job. Obviously, uh, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't like the fact that we earned the double buy and the bowling on double burn. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is, a format. If it's, if it's that way every year, it's fair, you know. And mm-hmm. Now we're better prepared for next year, and, you know, hopefully we lead again. We, yeah. we get put in the same position, and we learn from it. Yeah. We, we put up a better a better showing after that. So. Yeah, we run it back. So it was fun. You know, shout out to again Kevin and the staff at Enterprise Park Lanes. And, yeah, so we're here watching the uh, watching the Baltimore game, and you know, just winding down for the night. You know, relaxing after all that striking this weekend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, so we're gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching, and um, you know, stay tuned for the next vlog. Peace.